Hi guys, it's me, Angela. How's everyone doing? Me is good. I hope everyone's Mother's Day was good too. Speaking of Mother's Day, I'm on my way out to take my mom out for dinner. My outfit for the day is um, a white lace tank top from Dynamite. And on top it's like a sheer different brown shirt from Casablanca. And then I got my belt, American Eagle, and then skinny jeans. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, how's everyone's day? Mine's alright. Not feeling so great. I went to Shoppers and got a deal today where if you spent so much money, you get all these extra points because they have a point system. That when you get so many points, you can get so much money off. The thing I got is um, Life Brand uh, Cotton Pad Holder which is awesome because I use these circle cotton pads all the time with my toner. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It has a lid. It's pretty awesome. I'm really excited about that. If I sound really boring and monotone, I'm really sorry. I'm just not feeling so good. I got some more of the actual things to put in there, the cotton pads, because I'm getting very low. I got some band-aids because I always get paper cuts at work. Like, I'm paper cut. And then I did this to my fingers at the gym yesterday. I, like, basically hit a weight on my fingers. They're like blood blisters. Pretty disgusting. Yeah, so paper cut, paper cut, paper cut. No, I'm not a cutter. They're all from work. Paper cut. So. As you can see, kind of like accident prone, like medicine on the band aid, so that's good because it'll help prevent infection. And I got them in neon colors because I thought that would be fun. So white gum, bubble mint. I really like this gum, so they had the big container, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get these because I chew a lot of gum. Then I got my two very first lipsticks. I think my first lipsticks would be from MAC or something like that, but. Right now, I can't, I don't have a Mac store, I have to drive like an hour, no, well, not an hour, sorry, like half an hour away, so I don't really have time to do that today. So they're by Rimmel, for 600, soft coral. That's it there. Can you see it? It's like a pinky coral color, and it has some, looks like a bit of shimmer in it. I really like it. This is a... And the, the packaging is pretty pretty. It's like purple. The Rimmel sign. The second lipstick is called it's number 930 Bronze Goddess. Put it on my hand right above the pink core, soft coral. The friggin' last video I did where I, was, I did the other little shoppers mini haul was talking about the Aquafina plus vitamin drink. Yeah, see? I was right. There is a lower calorie one. This one is 10 calories. It's the Akai Fruit Punch, that one I was I had the last time. So I knew it. I knew I grabbed the wrong one. So this one's only 10 calories. It's really good. They have, like, a couple other flavors, too. Um, this is, um, this is their item of the week. It's Body Benefits. Um, most moisturizing body wash and body cream. I got the blackberry sugar scent because the other one was lavender vanilla and they, I couldn't smell them but I don't know. I think I would prefer blackberry over lavender. I have to be kind of in the mood for lavender stuff. So. Yeah, and then I got magazine. For this time I got Cosmo. I love pink. She's so awesome. She rocks. And of course, celebrity gossip. Apparently, Jessica Simpson has a new man. Like, I think they should just date people that aren't in the same celebrity business as they are. Because it's like a whole big soap opera. I find celebrities, they all like cheat on each other. And apparently, Kate Hudson, she got a boob job. Which, you know what, she was, like, really flat to begin with, and she got, like, 
a small implant. Like, she's not, like, humongous, like Heidi Montag. And people give her flack about it. It's like, so what? Heidi Montag, I think, is ridiculous because she's gone overboard and she's 23. Kate Hudson, how old is Kate Hudson? 31. And she just decided to just get her boobs done. Who cares? Like, God. There's so much bigger issues out there that they worry about friggin' the small things. I got some free samples. I could always go with free samples. So I got like a little rub um fragrance Burberry Sport. So kinda smells all right through the thing. Daryl can try it, see if he likes it. If he likes it then maybe a future cologne for him. Who knows? And then I got um, it's another cologne. It's by Biotherm. It's called Force. It's got a little sample. I love how the samples now are like little, like they're sprays. Like they're mini sprays. Those are so much better than like back in the day when you got samples. They were like the little cap that you had to pull off. And sometimes you end up like spilling half of it because it's so tight on there. So I find the sprays so much easier. And then I got a Ricci Ricci. A Nina Ricci. I guess it's a new one. Try that out. Maybe I'll like that. And this I got. It's a Revlon Beyond Natural Skin Matching Makeup Light to Medium in Tone. So it, it comes out white. And I guess when you rub it in, it like transforms to your skin. There it is white, and there it is rubbed in. Wow. That to me is awesome. Like, it just transforms to your skin. Like, so, I think I'm going to have fun with this. And I'll just try this whole tube out, and if I really like it, then I'm going to be buying this. I spent like so much time in shoppers. Like, the woman that was at the makeup counter, she was like, oh, you're back. And I'm like, well, I didn't actually leave yet. She was like, oh, what have you been doing? And I'm just like looking at every single item in your store. Like, I, w I like to go shopping by myself because then I could spend like whatever amount of time. If I have nothing to do or if Daryl doesn't need the car, I could spend like a good couple hours just checking out everything, especially, like, makeup and stuff, like, if it's a clothing store, I can spend that much amount of time, too, trying on and, like, trying to find good deals, but makeup, well, because you have to swatch them on your hands and, like, make sure that they're good and all this stuff, I have a problem, but it's okay, because I do work hard, I work hard for my money, so hard for my money. And I make sure all my bills are paid. Those are like, that's what my main concern is. Make sure that they're paid first because they're more, most important. Important things come along. I don't just like, oh, I'm going to go shopping rather than my responsibilities. Those come first. Priorities come first. But I like to enjoy life. I don't want to be like, all, no, all seriousness and no fun. And you can't have all fun and no seriousness. You have to have a balance, so... I like to enjoy life. I like to, when I'm old and look back on my life, I'm be like, I had a great life because I had fun and I enjoyed the products I bought. <laughs> so, ooh, Daryl's back and he has Arby's. Wherever I had it, Arby's was like, I only had their chicken. And that's just what I always do. I never, like, Wendy's, like, Burger King... I don't eat out a lot. I'm just saying, whenever I do eat out at a fast food place, I always get the chicken sandwiches. I never get their burgers. McDonald's is, like, the only place that I get a burger from. And that's the Big Mac, because I like Big Macs. So, from Arby's, Daryl was basically asking if I ever had, like, a roast... What is it? 
roast beef sandwich? And I'm like, no, I've never had them. He's like, you've never had them? Those are like the signature sandwiches from Arby's. But because, like I said, I always get the chicken sandwiches. So I think today is going to be my first time ever having one. So I hope it's satisfying. And then, did you get curly fries? Curly fries. Curly fries are awesome. So yeah, I'm going to uh, enjoy my Arby's now. Talk to you later.